Hello everybody, it's Bangkok Ian here. Uh, sorry for no video last week. I uh, just, just completely slipped my mind. Uh, never mind. But yeah, here we go. This is a, this will be a quick Bangkok update in Thailand. And also my thoughts about the PlayStation 5 reveal. That just happened a couple of hours ago. Oh baby. Uh, just uh, have a quick bit. As you can see from my last video, I've had my had my hair cut. It was wonderful. My normal normal barber's opened up again, so I had my hair cut. And whenever I go to my normal place, I have my hair cut, and I also have a, a foot massage, and I had my toenails cut at the same time. Oh, it was wonderful. My toenails were very very long after three months, but yeah, it's all been cut and massaged away and everything is great and uh, yeah things are opening up now more and more all the cinemas are open but as I suspected there's nothing good out and you have to wear a mask in the cinema and there's no food to be eaten on in the actual cinema so I've not been I'm not gonna go I think uh, I will go on July 16th. Tenant opens up. Uh, Christopher, Nol yeah, Christopher Nolan's new film, which looks absolutely amazing. And I do make a point of watching every Christopher Nolan film in the cinema where they should be watched, you know? Because they're all, they're a feast for the eyes and senses. So yeah, until Tenant opens up on the 16th of July, I'm not gonna go. It's gonna be tough enough going because they, they still might not serve food going to cinema without having anything to drink or snack on. Just can't. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll, I'll try. But yeah, so cinemas are opened, uh, the beaches are opened, but I've not been anywhere yet because you can't buy alcohol yet. Yet. On Monday the 15th, of June. The curfew is ending completely and the massive news for me is that you'll be able to buy beer in bars, in hotels and other eateries. So that's going to be oh, brilliant for me because I do like a beer with my lunch you know. So yes roll on Monday. First thing I'm going to do lunchtime Monday I'm going to go to the normal place downstairs from the office where I normally have my lunch. It's a German restaurant and so they've got lots of nice German beers, all the wheat beers and all that good stuff. Definitely going to have quite a few pints at lunchtime on Monday afternoon. I cannot wait. Oh yeah. Mm. But yeah, well, we seem to be doing okay with regards to the uh, COVID cases. I believe Thailand's not had any, we've not had any new homegrown cases for 18 or 19 days now. The only cases we're having are from those Thais who have been repatriated from overseas, from Europe, Middle East and elsewhere. They're coming back into the country and they're all having to go into quarantine. They're all being checked thoroughly, any sign and they're separated from everybody else. If you arrive in Thailand, no matter what nationality, it's 14 days in mandatory quarantine. And so they seem to be catching all the COVID cases as they arrive in Thailand, which is, uh, which is encouraging because as I said, there's been no cases here for 18 days now. We still have to wear masks all the time when you're, when you're going on the train or when you're going outside. And I can't see that changing anytime soon, but I'm sort of used to wearing a mask now. I wear it every day when I'm going to work and I don't wear it in the office because I've got my own office. So why? I'm the, I've got my own little office and I can take it off when I go in there. But yeah, when I'm, whenever I'm outside, I wear it because if you don't, you get all these hard stairs, you know, so yeah. Plus, you can't go on the on the train if you're not wearing one. So yeah, it's good practice. So 
So there we go. So uh, what else was announced? Uh, international schools are all open from Monday. So lots and lots of teachers will be raring to go back to work. Uh, as I said, there's no curfew now. Before there was a curfew from 11 till 3. And from Monday there won't be any curfew at all now, which is... Again, it won't make any difference to me because I'm always in bed by then anyway. Because I wake up and normally around 5 or 6 in the morning every day anyway. So, But it's, it's good to know that things are generally lifting, you know. But it's uh, it's going to be strange when things open up because uh, there's not going to be any flights, international flights for any non-ties until at least the end of June. And even then, anyone who's arriving will probably have to go into 14 days quarantine. So it's going to be really weird. I mean, if you're not coming, I mean, even then, Will tourists come if they have to do 14 days of quarantine? I just don't know, unless they're talking about having some sort of reciprocal agreement with other low risk countries like New Zealand. I believe New Zealand are just like, they're, they've declared themselves COVID free. So I think there's gonna be some sort of diplomatic moves between various countries to get, maybe skip the, skip the quarantine, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting when things do do open up for flights because I don't see how they're gonna manage it. Not easily, especially not for Thailand, which relies on tourism so much. So we'll see. The Thai government they are strongly pushing domestic tourism now. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently next month in July, everyone. I'm not sure if it's in Thais and non Thais, but we can all get like a uh, hundred quid off domestic hotel bookings and stuff like that a lot of good deals to be had i just hope that they're applicable to foreigners the people like me who still live here with work permits and all that stuff i hope we can also take advantage of these low priced offers because if we can then i'm going to go on a nice little break as well next month but we'll see we'll see what happens and uh, what else is happening? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that's all that. Uh, so, on to the PlayStation 5. And uh, it happened, the reveal happened around 1 o'clock in the morning, Thailand time. So, I'm too old to wake up. Before in the old days, I would have woken up for it. But I'm, I'm too much of an old crusty these days to. So, I couldn't. Couldn't wake up, so I woke up in the morning. I saw a bit of it on the way to work today. Uh, I do like uh, Layman Gaming, one of my favourite websites. So I saw their their video that they recorded live. I saw it after the fact, and uh, yeah, there was a lot of good stuff that that PlayStation Five revealed. I was that sealed the deal for me. I was in, I was on the fence about whether to get one. I wasn't sure. But saying that, I got a PlayStation 3 on launch day. And in the, I got it the same day as the Japanese launch day, and same for the PlayStation 5. As soon as that got PlayStation 4, sorry. As soon as that got released, I, I got that, and I am gonna get the PlayStation 5 now. I don't really care what it looks like. It looks nice, but that's not really a factor for me because it's normally tucked away under the telly anyway, so I don't really care what it looks like. But it looks all right. I just wonder that, will there be heat problems with it? Cause it does look a bit small compared to the new Xbox. But those games that they showed, oh my God, they were amazing. That, I think the most, the one that stuck out in my mind the most that took advantage of everything was the new Ratchet and Clank game that no one seems to be talking about. Yeah, it looked really nice, but the, the thing that got me was that it's based on like instantly switching from one dimensional level to another. So in a microsecond, the entire level architecture will completely change. And I'm pretty sure that's only possible with this brand 
spanking new SXD technology they've got. And I'm surprised that no one's been talking about that because the things that that game was showing all of us in a microsecond, the entire level just changed completely. And it was so bloody detailed with like reflections on all the walls and the ceilings. Like it was ray tracing if you ask me. It looked absolutely amazing. That was the game, the game for me of the show. I mean, I've always been a massive Ratchet and Clank fan anyway. But when I saw that running, oh baby, cannot wait for that. And uh, what else did I? Oh yeah, uh, Deathloop. This, that also looks amazing. It's the new first person game, like an immersive sim. And it's by Arcane. Now if you're not familiar with Arcane, they're one of my favorite devs. They, uh, oh my God. They do some of the best immersive sims going. They uh, they did uh, Dishonored, the Dishonored series, and they did the Prey, the reboot of Prey from a couple of years ago. And this new, what's it called again? Uh, Deathly looks absolutely amazing. Looks like a mix between the. Uh, the movement traversal of Dishonored with the um, the Moon Crash DLC of Prey in that you got multiple objectives and you got different characters and oh it looks amazing and it looks as I say it's an immersive sim like like a Deus Ex and oh god I can't wait to play that game it looks fantastic uh, what else did I make a note of? Astro Playroom. I was really chuffed to see that 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 character, that Astro, that little robot make a return. Now I don't think it's a VR title, but Astro's the Astro game is one of my favourite PlayStation VR games. I love I love the platforming in it. So I'm really chuffed to see it coming out on PlayStation 5. And I'm I've been reading that it might even be a free game that you get when you buy your PlayStation 5. So yeah, can't wait for that. And uh, I'm hopeful for PlayStation VR version 2 now because I saw the PlayStation, the new PlayStation camera and it's got dual lenses. So I'm hoping that will be used for the tracking of the PlayStation VR version 2, which I really hope. Please let that come out. They've not announced anything yet, but um, I'm really hoping they do it because that will be fantastic. Because they announced the Resident Evil Village at the reveal event, and I absolutely loved the last new Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 7. Oh my god, that was amazing. VR, PlayStation VR, so I'm, I'm really hoping that Capcom make it another PlayStation VR game. You know, you play it in non-VR, but when you do play it in VR, it's twice as frightening and so much more atmospheric. So yeah, I'm hoping that comes out on PlayStation VR. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, also Gran Turismo 7. This shows a lot of the... Uh, the in-car first person driving view and that will be a perfect mix for PlayStation VR as well and GT Sport was VR compatible so I'm hoping that they do something similar and release it also being VR compatible because that would be amazing too and uh, yeah it was an amazing show it was like an hour of just solid gameplay so I was I was like <sighs> drooling the entire time. It was amazingly good. Oh, and I'll, um, Returnal. That looks really good as well. It's the new game by House Marky. I'm not sure how you say it. House Mark, House Marky, I don't know. They're the devs who did so many great PlayStation 4 games. They did uh, Resogun, uh, Next Machina, so many 
brilliant old school style games. This looks like it's more of a third person shooter, but it looks really action packed with a strong story as well. So I'm hoping it matches the house mark style with, with what looks like absolutely drop dead visuals. And also there was a new uh, Oddworld game as well, which I didn't know was coming out. They had Lone Lanning appear. And yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. I would, my regret was that they didn't have any God of War there, but I, they're, they're probably saving that for next year. But that looks amazing. And what else did they show? The new Spider-Man game. That might be out this year. Well, it says holiday 2020. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't say it's properly Spider-Man 2. It's... I can't see it being anywhere near the length of the original Spider-Man game on PlayStation 4. But it looks really nice. And I'm glad they went with Miles Morales. Because that means you're going to have lots of new abilities. And lots of new mechanics in it. So looks really really good so i would say playstation absolutely knocks it out of the park on this reveal that's how you do it compared to the xbox when they promised all this gameplay reveal and it never really happens why did playstation always teach xbox how it's done oh it shouldn't happen you know but it just oh, it happens i mean i will get a, i will get a new xbox as well but I'm far more hyped up about the, the PlayStation now. So yeah, roll on. Please let them both come out in November this year. Please. And I'm definitely gonna get them. Definitely getting PlayStation 5. Oh, Hitman as well. I didn't know that was coming out. And that looks really good as well. There were so many great games. It was amazing. Okay, enough of my excited chatter. But it was great, absolutely great reveal. I was over the moon at all the games they showed. Okay then, that's all from me for now for this week. Again, it's been a good week. Everything's opening up. Things are getting better and better every week. It's making me feel all warm inside that things can get back to normal. Famous last words, I know, but I'm an optimist. Okay then, that's all from me for now then. Thanks for watching, cheers.